Uh, today I will be talking about uh, how to kickstart your IoT system on chip design with the ARM Cortex M0 Design Start uh, and EDA tools from Cadence and Mentor. Agenda will cover uh, three, four topics. Uh, recent trends in custom SOC design, uh, cost and benefit of custom SOC design, and how ARM is helping to accelerate uh, your uh, development uh, with the Cortex M0 Design Start, as well as Cadence's hosted design solutions and uh, Mentor's Tanner EDA tools. So first look at recent trends. Let's look at recent trends in custom SOC design. Uh, IMEC IC Link uh, is an ARM partner. They are an ASIC design service entity based in Brussels. They were kind enough to share with us uh, design entries for the past nine years for new custom SOC designs. And what we've seen is about a 15% annual growth rate. And so that was intriguing, and ARM wanted to know where uh, these designs were happening, which application, which technology node, and why was it happening? What are the cost benefits of building your own SOC? What we found out was that uh, there is a new wave of hardware innovation uh, in the form of new custom SOCs driven by the growth in uh, smart connected devices. Um, the smart connected devices space, or, or as we call it, IoT, spans a very broad range of uh, N applications from uh, home building automation, medical, industrial, farming, uh, retail. So, but despite the very broad set of uh, end use cases, the, the ICs that go into these applications share uh, three key uh, common uh, characteristics. One of them, uh, they are typically MIG signal, so there is some analog component as well as digital component. Second, they are very power conscious, so a lot of these devices are battery powered or they harvest uh, energy from the uh, surrounding environment. Um, and finally, uh, they are built fit for purpose. So. You can use general purpose MCUs for these end applications. However, because of uh, the fact that they are cost sensitive, uh, these devices cannot afford to have extra logic, extra analog circuitry, or memory uh, that, that are not going to be used. Um, so we're seeing more and more design that are fit for purpose for these specific vertical markets. And that is what is driving this growth. An example of one of these designs uh, done by another ARM partner called the S3 Group. They are an ASIC design uh, house uh, based in Ireland with specific uh, expertise in mixed signal designs. Uh, they were asked by one of their OEM customers to build a factory uh, sensor controller um, uh, to, uh, and this device was supposed to have a temperature, pressure, sensors, do some communication, some motor control. Um, and the result was that they were able to design this device by integrating a lot of functionality uh, and gaining a 90% reduction uh, in, in bill of material costs. In addition, uh, they were able to reduce PCB space by 85% uh, and also uh, provide their OEM customer with the control of that um, IC supply chain. So integrate differentiation by integration was a uh, success uh, driving factor for this device, uh, um, this specific uh, custom SOC device. So we've looked a bit about, we've looked a little bit at the uh, benefits of designing your own custom SOC. Well, what about the cost? Um, obviously it's not negligible. Uh, well, um, incidentally, uh, mature technology nodes are more suitable for custom SOC designs with MIG signal uh, components. Uh, the signal to noise ratio being higher at, higher techno at larger technology nodes is more suitable for analog circuitry. So a lot of the growth in new custom SOCs for IoT are happening at the higher technology nodes. 
and you can uh, obtain uh, a, a through a multi-process wafer uh, uh, sample um, three or four dozen engineering samples at 180 nanometer at less than twenty thousand dollars this is the cost of just getting the wafer uh, in addition, uh, reusing IP blocks, uh, reusing subsystems provided by IP companies, so not reinventing the wheel for the interconnect inside your SOC, and also leveraging from the, uh, the world's, uh, well, the, the, the very strong ecosystem of Cortex-M processors where uh, a lot of tools and software can be uh, reused and, and there's a broad range of um, uh, uh, pricing, so ranging from freeware to, to premium and tools and, and software. That is also another avenue uh, to reduce the cost of designing this custom SOC. Uh, this is a, so, some data that I just mentioned earlier coming from IMEC IC Link showing that the new uh, designs are happening uh, in 180 nanometer. Uh, as well as 90 and 65. So um, a lot of growth and a lot of tape outs per year that they're sharing with us. So we've l talked a bit about the cost of getting engineering samples for new custom SOCs. What about the production costs? Um, well, S3 Group shared with us this break-even rule that they uh, advised to their customers. If you project that your production will reach that $2.5 million cost, um, then it is worthwhile to build your own custom SOC. Um, this is the rule of thumb break-even point that typically happens between one and one, a half, one and a half years after product launch. Um, obviously, uh, buying off-the-shelf devices uh, has a lower NRE cost, but that break-even point will occur uh, somewhere um, after one and a half years. So now I'll switch gears a bit and talk a bit what ARM is doing uh, together with its EDA tool partners. So at the end of last year, ARM made the Cortex-M0 uh, freely available uh, for evaluation and design simulation through the Design Start program. The Cortex-M0 is a 32-bit uh, very small embedded processor. Uh, in its minimal configuration, it occupies only 12 kilo gates, uh, so it can be a replacement for an 8 or 16-bit uh, microcontroller. And obviously, you can leverage the very uh, um, extensive um, Cortex-M ecosystem that is available uh, to accelerate your design and reduce your development costs. Now, together with the IP that was announced last year to, have, to be freely available uh, for design and simulation, ARM also introduced uh, a low-cost fast-track license option um, uh, when your design is ready for commercialization. This uh, uh, low-cost fast-track license is $40,000 and gives you the right to commercialize one product uh, that includes the Cortex-M0. Uh, processor. Just move on to the next slide. Um, this is the portal. Um, the hyperlink here is the Design Start portal where you can have a um, access to the. Yes, yes, I, they, they warned me. So I'll continue to. Is, is where you'll have access to the Cortex M0 Design Start as well as um, links to uh, the new announcement that we've made today where uh, Cadence and Mentor are also offering um, fast and, and easy access to their EDA tools for evaluation as well as for, for design. The Cortex-M0 design start that you get access to uh, is not just the processor. It is pre-integrated with an AHB bus system and comes with some uh, useful peripherals, uh, timers, GPIOs, uh, serial ports. Um, the memories, of course, are models that are delivered, and then you have to uh, instantiate your own memory macros uh, for your design. It is very easy to customize uh, the, this design and hook up, for example, 
an analog uh, um, uh, component of the design, and we have examples showing in demos at the Mentor and Cadence booth today. Yeah, so this is just to uh, reiterate that what we're announcing today is a build up, uh, a build up build up on the existing announcement we made last year that ARM uh, has made the Cortex-M0 available uh, for um, freely for design and simulation and also offering a $40,000 fast track license uh, to the Cortex-M0. M0. But today we're complementing that announcement with uh, the other two important components uh, of building a custom SOC, EDA tools and know-how. For EDA tools, Cadence uh, and Tanner EDA by Mentor is providing free evaluation as well as simplified and expedited access to the, their EDA tools through the Design Start program. And the third component, um, ARM is introducing today the approved design partner um, program whereby uh, design houses uh, are audited by ARM, uh, and ARM provides a list of these audited design houses so that the, the silicon, uh, the, the, the system designer or the chip designer um, can have a trusted list of ARM approved design centers. And yes, that message at the bottom um, is obviously uh, no, no longer relevant, so this was announced uh, end of yesterday. Um, in summary, uh, the fragmented nature of IoT uh, use cases is creating an opportunity for hardware innovation, and that's witnessed by the Design Start uh, database that I showed you in the first slide. Um, custom SOCs at mature technology nodes are more cost-effective uh, and also, incidentally, more, rel uh, more uh, um, suitable for uh, MIG signal designs. So we can expect to see more innovation through custom SOCs. Um, and ARM, together with its EDA partners, are helping uh, to you to uh, bring these new custom SOC designs to market. That is the link uh, of the Design Start portal if you want more information. Thank you. Um, and I just want to remind you that there are a few more keynotes and presentations as well as panels uh, at this booth later today by Nandan, uh, VP of Marketing uh, of the CP group, CPU group at ARM on how ARM is ena enabling innovation in IoT at 2.30 p.m. Uh, today also at 3 p.m. there will be a panel uh, uh, supported by Nandan as well as National Instruments uh, and Cadence on how can startups build the next great IoT chip. Uh, finally, tomorrow at 3 p.m., <clears throat> there will be a similar panel uh, supported by Nandan, Silicon Catalyst, uh, and Mentor Graphics. Thank you.